Hello, I'm Kay Mountfield and I'm the head teacher of Sir William Borlase's Grammar School and I'd like to welcome you to Borlase. Making a decision about where to spend the next phase of your education is a really difficult one and particularly this term where you can't visit the school sites. So here at Borlase, we've decided to make a short film and a virtual tour to help you understand what it would be like to study here at Borlase when you can't come in to see us for yourselves. Now I think this is a wonderful school, but maybe I'm biased. I think you need to come and find out for yourselves. So following us around on this tour should help you do that. And hopefully in the spring, when things open out a little bit more, you'll be able to come and see for yourselves and visit us. So what's it like to learn here at Borlase? What makes it such a special place? Well, we've been here on this site in Marlow for a very long time now. In fact, we're coming up to our 400th birthday. So if you're here in 2024, then you'd be able to celebrate that birthday with us. Borlais is an inspirational place to learn. The buildings are steeped with history. The chapel, the cloisters, the clock tower are all beautiful. And although we don't play Quidditch, on a summer's afternoon, you can hear the sound of croquet from Cloister's Lawn. There are some lovely traditions from our competitive house system where houses compete for the Lady Bennion Cup through so many activities across the year to our singing of the school song when we have something to celebrate. Norman's is the best. We are the best promoters, we are the best teachers, we have everything best. Saxons are the worst. I like the sort of my sense of comfortable competition. That's the yeah, but small rivalry, I think, does yeah. fuel. Borlase is a modern, innovative, forward-thinking place to study. Last year we were awarded world-class school status for high-performance learning. We have specialist science labs, a computing suite, design suite and a theatre. And next year in the spring we'll be opening a super sports hall. You'll see that being built behind us. We also have an AstroTurf that's already been opened and a new set of tennis courts and netball courts too. The curriculum is rich and exciting. In Year 7 you get to study many different subjects so that you can then go on to discover your own passions. You'll study English literature, mathematics, all of the sciences, physics, chemistry, biology, history, geography, philosophy, German or Spanish. You'll study sports and all the creative arts, computing, design, art, drama, dance and music, and just about anything you can imagine, all taught by specialist teachers. Hello there, my name is Mr Robertson and I'm Head of Key Stage 3 at Sir William Morlings. It is my role to oversee the pastoral care of all students joining the school for their first two years. We have a highly dedicated team of staff to support that process, including tutors, matron, a Key Stage 3 learning mentor, as well as sit formers who are trained to support our younger students. Before joining the school, we have a number of activities which help that transition process, including some fantastic camps where students get to meet some of the staff and experience some of the activities that they will enjoy in September. There's a real energy at Borlase to get involved in as many different activities as you can. And that's one of the things, one of the unique things that make this school so special and allow students to feel part of the fabric of the school. And there's a real atmosphere of caring here at Borlase and we really want all students to feel happy and be able to thrive. One of the unique things about Borlase is the fact that we pick up from so many different primary schools and some students may be the only student coming from their school. And I would say to you, don't be worried about that. You meet many new people and when you get thoroughly involved in things like the transition camps and all the clubs and activities we do here, you soon make friends. We do lots of creative projects in maths and we try to bring together maths with other subjects in the school. In year seven, we start with a project that brings maths and art together. 
This is the first thing we do, and we look at investigating handshakes between you and everyone else in the room. The skills you'll learn in maths can be used in so many professions and things you want to do beyond the school. In our school, pupils love to get involved and really stretch themselves with challenges that we see both in the classroom and outside the classroom. We have pupils going on to become architects, engineers, physicists, medics and much more using the skills they have learned in maths at Borlays. In history, um, in year seven, and just before Christmas, we got to build our own medieval castles. Science so, is fun because there's a lot more different experiments that you can be capable of doing, whereas in primary school, you're going to do limited stuff. And for us, we didn't have a lab, so it was very hard to do science. One of the really exciting things that we give year seven the opportunity to do when they join us is to uh, do a STEM project. So they would choose something that really interests them, something could be anything at all, could be biology or chemistry or physics, uh, and, they, and they design a, a, a project themselves. So they would then go off and explore that, do lots of research themselves, and they do that really independently with some support from us at school. Year seven dance show, we had flight in our year, yeah. um, each doing True. science, technology, engineering and maths between us. And then the highlight um, thing, Strictly Come Dance, oh, yeah. of course, time. Yeah. Hello, my name is Miss Rayner and I'm the head of Year 9 here at Borlays. At Borlays we're incredibly lucky because as well as New Year 7s, we also have new students joining us in Year 9. And if you do join us in Year 9, you'll fit in incredibly quickly as we have a fantastic Key Stage 4 team that will support you academically and pastorally. One of the highlights for me of the Year 9 is the residential trip that we take the whole year group on. This is a perfect opportunity for the year group to kind of join as a team, create new friendships and create new bonds. In addition, Year 9 is a fantastic year and is the, as it is the year that we start the GCSEs. This means not only do we have the new students coming in, but all of the other classes are all mixed up. So it's a perfect opportunity to make new friends and learn together as a year group. So as a parent of uh, a new year 12 girl who entered um, Borlays in year seven, I can look back on that journey she's made through. And I still remember being anxious um, at the beginning of it. Was she gonna be, was a grammar school the right place for her? She was going with nobody else from her previous school and she would be the youngest or maybe uh, around about the youngest in the year. But I have to say that within a couple of weeks, the Key Stage 3 team had got to know, and in that first half term, they get to know every single child. Um, they get to know not only their academic abilities, but what the kids like, what they actually like themselves, what they like, what they dislike. And they start to suggest ways in which they might like to take part in Borlay's life outside of academic stuff and really make them feel that they're part of Borlay's completely. And that doesn't stop at year seven. It goes on throughout uh, the school. So I've seen it again at year nine, year 10, year 11. And now as my daughter enters year 12, the same thing is happening with the Key Stage 5 team. It really is incredible. We're incredibly lucky at Sir William Borlase to have outstanding specialist teachers in all subjects. They trained at some of the top universities and conservatoires in the world, and they just love teaching. And as a teaching school, we train new teachers, so we're able to call on the best new talent to start their career here at Borlase. Because all the teachers are really, they're really friendly, they all know their subject very well, so you can ask them a question and they'll give you a good answer. The boys teachers, I think, go that extra, go that extra mark, go, you know, put, put that extra bit in that those students need. So what's really fantastic about Borlays is the relationship between teachers and students. You're really not afraid to ask questions in lessons and everything is just such a friendly environment. It's a great experience to learn here. I think Borlays, what Borlays offers all sorts of views is, is a window into teaching. Um, and I, I'm very proud to say that I, I was a, a student at Borlays um, and I, I went elsewhere and now I'm back partly because I knew the education that I had at Borlays was something that I would hope to be able to, to give back in the future and I knew it was the sort of school that I, that I wanted to work in. So I, I would say that in, in my case and it's not staff's case here, both of us are, are, are students that, that, that could you know, see the opportunities that the school gave uh, and, and wanted to become part of that, that team. Um, and, and, and you know, it's wonderful to be back teaching in, in that environment. Borlaisians can be anything they want to be, as long 
so many of them have been inspired and empowered at all A's to lead the way in their chosen field. So one of our former students uh, who's now actually come back to teach here, uh, when he, he's done some research in, at, in a university where he was looking using electron microscopes, really powerful microscopes to look at how bacteria move around um, and what affects their movement. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me as well, we definitely have some students who are looking into vaccines and things like that. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there were some who were looking into things like the COVID-19 vaccine possibly. In recent years, we've had past pupils take their math skills and develop things outside of school. Some old Borlasians have taken their maths and developed apps to help pupils in lockdown with tutoring. We have two examples of this and also old Borlasians coming back from university to help in the classroom. Borlasians love to learn and if you're excited about learning and finding out new things, this is the place for you. That might involve sitting in a First World War practice trench to learn about the Great War, or burning food in science to learn about energy. And what's more, the learning goes on long after the class is finished. Through clubs and societies you can meet with like-minded people and keep the learning going long after the school day is finished. The range of subjects that I've encountered um, for my daughter at Borlase has been amazing. Um, in particular, uh, she has really benefited from the wider curriculum. She's been able to then focus down on her passion, which is um, science and computing. But she's been able to sample so much enrichment while she's been there. So she's been able to be involved in drama, in music. Um, she's been involved in STEM awards. So they're the science, technology, engineering and maths awards. Um, she's done her Duke of Edinburgh. Um, there are numerous societies. She's part of a sports team. There is such a lot for each child to find something for them uh, within the Borlase life and the Borlase curriculum. So learning about science doesn't stop it in the classroom and, and, and that's why it's such an exciting thing to be part of STEM at Borlase. Uh, we do so much in, in terms of extracurricular and supercurricular. Uh, there are so many opportunities for students of all ages to get involved in STEM outside the classroom. So students will be found most break time, most lunch time as part of clubs. Uh, they might be doing some practical as part of Key Stage of Science Club. They might be looking after chicks that are hatching. Uh, they might be going off on a trip to the Christmas Lecture at Imperial College London. Um, I suppose in English we have obviously access to an incredible library. Uh, we have trips to theatres, to the Lake district to write poetry in the hills um, but obviously just in our lessons you have access to iconic writers like Shakespeare and Orwell as well as more modern ones like Patrick Ness and Duffy. Um, we are responding to current events for example um, anything in the news we are finding articles we're finding texts which respond to that so we try to inspire them not only with literature which was written hundreds of years ago but also the things that are relevant to their lives today. Many people associate the extracurricular potentially with um, art or sports um, and sometimes science, but actually extracurricular is with every subject and in languages for example. We love the extracurricular stuff that we can do right down from Christmas parties that we run for um, our Key Stage 3 to show them the Christmas traditions of Germany for example, through trips um, up abroad if we can, or indeed um, visit to, visits to um, theatre as well. It brings the subject alive. It makes it interesting for us, but it actually it really engages people in what the subject means beyond just the classroom. They like to question yeah. everything. <laughs> um, and actually that makes them better learners because they want to go beyond what you've told them what's in the textbook, they want to know why that is and what else they can learn from Yeah, they're curious um, and driven whether that is that, you know, that subject to their strength or not. Um, all of them have, yeah, they're asking questions, they are wanting to know how to fill that gap. Uh, we did um, uh, a French song about an elephant and we decorated our own elephant masks. Don't say it! Un qui se balance One of the major appeals uh, for Bollets for me was the, just the amount of extracurricular clubs, be it academic, be it sport, be it arts. There's just so many opportunities outside of the incredible teaching that you don't necessarily um, need to do everything, but if you just do a club, there's going to be something that you're going to enjoy, there's going to be something that you're going to be able to 
do something that you wouldn't be able to do in other schools just because it gives you those opportunities. The school motto is Tidi na sequere, which is follow things worthy of yourself. And I think it adds to that element of just follow things that are really enriching you as a person, things you're really enjoying and, and having a large scope of things that you can do I think really adds to the meaning behind that. Coming to Borlaise is about so much more than academic learning. There is a wealth of sports for you to enjoy. Boys and girls excel in hockey. It's a very sociable sport. Um, as well as the hockey, you have a lot, you can make lots of new friends. Rowing. I chose rowing. I did it because I thought it would be quite fun and I quite like the water. Uh, yeah, I was the same. Um, I always saw people on their boats dry, uh, going past and I thought that was really cool. So I watched TV and so watched that. Football, rugby and so many more sports. There's something for everyone. Ball, yeah, rugby, cricket, which cricket. Play at break times as we well. even yeah. have um, a swimming team, which I think is quite rare and it's a really cool experience. I was very into sports when I came to Borlase. Um, I had only really done a little bit of netball, so I decided to pick up netball again. Um, so I went to the tryouts and I managed to get into the B team, which was very surprising. Um, but uh, then we did the seeding tournament and it was just really fun. Tennis is really my favourite thing and I was happy to do it during PE and everything, everyday life. The school is renowned for the creative arts. Everyone experiences so many creative subjects because through creativity and collaboration you will develop the confidence to succeed in so many areas and the arts are fun. The competition between the houses with the arts, um, so every year there's house music, house arts and house drama. Last year we had house music. I think, did they win? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Every Key Stage 3 student has an hour a week of music, dance and drama and it's a really integral part of the curriculum at Borlase. Um, for us, we're hugely passionate about the arts because we believe that it brings so many skills um, to the students and they really do immerse themselves in the arts, whether that be through going to clubs um, as an extension of their learning in their lessons, but also taking part in the musicals and the various productions that we have um, on during the year. We are a school that, that puts emphasis on the arts and gives that opportunity uh, for students to, to undertake um, all a, a really broad and rich engaging curriculum. We feel that you know the, the arts are an area in which students can really be pushed and challenged. Um, and particularly shows are a huge part of all this and the ones I've most enjoyed were Beauty and the Beast, yeah, um, going toys. to see Sweeney Todd, Sweeney Todd guys and dolls, guys and dolls, and backstage mishaps of Sweeney. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the show goes on. Yeah. And a lot of music like Sweet Choir, Rock Club, Spring Choir, Symphony Orchestra. With that one, Theatre. Yeah. Theatre production is also really fun. You get to do drama and choirs. Jazz. Yeah, and there's a really great opportunity for anybody who likes theatre tech because the stage has to get built, the lighting for Strictly Come Dalton is brilliant because there's so there are so many different styles to do because you've got sounds that jive and waltz, uh, so many different things you have to account for and it's just a great opportunity in all areas of the arts basically. And of course education and going to school has been very different for everyone this year. On March the 20th when schools closed down we made the decision that we wanted to keep everybody together. That was really important to us. So by March the 23rd, our doors opened again, but in Borlase at home, our virtual school. Every morning, everyone went to tutor time and to all their lessons through Google Meet or through Google Classrooms. And that way we were able to keep everybody involved with one another, everyone part of the school community, right through lockdown. And of course, coming to school now, things have changed. If you look around the Borlase site now in, in September 2020, you'll see that there's a huge focus on making sure that everybody stays safe, that everybody is able to learn and carry on learning with enthusiasm, enjoying the subjects that they normally enjoy and doing some other activities too, even though, as you'll see, the environment is very different. 
I mean, we, I mean, we finished school on that Friday, and I remember school was back up and running on the Tuesday following. So we had three, we had the weekend and a day off, and we were back in. But I really, I really appreciated the way that you know we revised the day structure. Lessons were taught online. It was Google Meets almost all the time. But the level of interactivity, shockingly, didn't go down. No, I never felt alone. There was never a point where I thought, oh, yeah. oh this was really isolating in isolation. Uh, within one day of lockdown, the school had put in place the full boys at home system and it meant that uh, my daughter's lessons were all accessible through the boys at home portal. Uh, she was being taught by Google Classroom and these lessons were fully interactive. They weren't just uh, work being set and then submitted. These were interactive lessons, interacting with her peers and also with her teachers. And the school was very quick to uh, put in place systems so there wasn't too much screen time uh, and also find new interactive tools so that they could find new ways for teachers to interact with the children. It all happened really quickly, it all seemed to be seamless um, as a parent but I'm sure it was a lot of work behind the scenes. Even with all days at home we still had a sense of community like we had pre-recorded assemblies, um, we had three uh, voices. Yeah, we had form um, which was really good. And the um, Hey Jude school folklore. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of my colleagues said that um, just before we went into lockdown, um, it felt as though we'd had five years worth of IT training in five days. Um, and to a certain extent, it was that. And that continued um, during lockdown. But actually, willingly, that people were trying new software and saying, this is really great, let's try it and see how it works. But what was particularly great was the fact that the students were just as keen as we were to try new things. So we've had some really great successes really with recording um, uh, students in their speaking tasks, which is very difficult to do when you're online, but they've been really great. And we've had some really imaginative performances, I think from one of your um, classes, Mrs. Colville, where we've had some beautiful recitals of um, French poetry. We've had people demonstrating that they can be creative um, with their speaking practice and risk-taking as well. And in fact, we, four of them were so good that they've actually been showcased at the National Conference. You'll make lifelong friends at Borlays. Everybody is a little nervous joining a new school, but knowing that you are coming into a friendly environment is really important to us. I think we've got to remember that when you join year nine, the people in year eight already know that you're about to join. They already know about it since year seven. There's going to be new kids coming in year nine. So they're quite excited to meet new people. And it's not just one or two, it's like a good 15, 20 people who join every, every whole class. Like it's 30, a whole 30, 30 people. So it's not, you're not, it's not just you with 100 people to make friends. I love- made friends with a girl who had no one coming in school. And she now has like 10 friends. And it's a tight community. Everybody's working together. Yeah. And even in the past, the communication across the year groups is very friendly. And you don't feel afraid to ask questions to all the years or in situations where that's an option. And that goes for the staff as well, kind of, if you're stuck on something, then all you need to say is, can I have some help? And they don't treat you any lesser for it, or ask, oh, why weren't you listening? Yeah, they just say, okay, well, it's been a different way, let's mm -hmm. go again. There were loads of camps at the beginning, which was really good, having fun with your friends and raft building, and yeah, that was good. So although you're not able to walk around the, the school this September, um, I'd like to take you on a virtual tour. So I'm gonna hand you over now to Leon and Imogen, our school captains, who will take you around the school and introduce you to some of our subject areas. Welcome to Borlase. The school has been on West Street in Marlow since 1624 and has a long history of achievements and, as you can see, some lovely old buildings. But Borlase today is a modern and innovative school full of students like us who hope to make a difference in shaping the future. So let us show you why.
you found that useful and if you have any questions do visit our website where we'll show you how you can ask questions and they'll be answered for you. I look forward to meeting you if you're able to come to school in the future. All the best.